Good day, fellow investors. Yes, Sven changed his mind and he here and there does change his mind. I think that it's very dangerous not to change your mind here or there. Last weekend I did this video on Facebook discussing earnings and how I'm not that positive because I feel that the issues with Facebook might be structural and not just temporary. Which is totally opposite than a few videos that I made in the past where I said that Facebook from the risk and reward perspective was a buy for me and I still own those four shares of Facebook that I bought for my large diversified learning portfolio where I want to own a business to learn more about it. But now there were many comments how the stock crashed and now I don't buy it anymore which is opposite to being greedy when others are fearful but being greedy when others are fearful is not that easy. And this was a negative comment mostly Facebook bulls negative comments but I really want to address this. So Sven Carlin is retroactively lowering his expectations after share price falls and comparing me to analysts. And also Francisco I really don't think that Meta changed so much in six months to be downgraded that that much in your analysis. And then normal comment from Jesse what was your previous thesis for a 10% return and what changed since then? That was a good question. So let's discuss here investing in risk reward and changing one's mind and what am I focused on when it comes to investing? Certainly not the stock price and also also show you how analysts I think do it differently so it is an insult when you compare me to analysts. Nevertheless let's dig into because these are the key let's say nuisances to understand and to differentiate between investing, long-term business, structural investing and temporary headwinds, market noise, etc. So in my valuation table that you can download for free, I have Facebook and now my earnings given the slowdown in earnings are 11. I expected earnings to be 15 for this year and the growth rates in advertising to be 15% and let's say 10% which then with a terminal multiple of 20 then you get to an intrinsic value for a 10% return of 340 with of course higher growth rates 25% and 15 then you get to intrinsic values of 16 also with a higher multiple that's easy but let's scale back to the current estimation so I see slower growth rate for Facebook, slower earnings, lower earnings and consequently consequently also lower terminal multiple. That's how the market works and when it comes to growth stocks that's why the stock price but also the valuation changes that fast. So my theory with Facebook, my thesis, risk and reward a year ago, two years ago, was that the advertising business has more pricing power in it. For the past years there were, let's say, lower level businesses, smaller level businesses advertising on Facebook. Then my thesis was when big companies, BMWs, Mercedes, Coca-Cola, Nike and all those big brands start focusing on the attention on Facebook, then advertisement prices should go up and even with stability of users, Facebook business should grow, should create much more cash at the same cost and therefore Facebook earnings should go exponentially up and do really really well. However, with the last year, Facebook did grow in 2021, pandemic and everything. However, that pricing power with advertisement, that time of attention, there things changed. And therefore I changed my thesis, nothing to do with the stock price. There was risk and reward, the same was there a year ago, but I thought that the percentage of reward was much bigger compared to the risk. Now that I see advertisement prices go down 8%, which means that the big names aren't coming in, this completely changes with other issues that Facebook has the, my thesis and makes it more of a structural thing. Which means I don't buy more when something goes down. And therefore, yes, I changed my thesis and I tell you so. But of course, the messenger gets attacked and uh, 
I really don't care of being a tech. That's fine by me. That's key for doing YouTube, key for growing, key of being an exposed, let's say, financial analyst there. And then just for disclaimer purposes, I still own those four shares of Facebook. In my large portfolio, I usually have portfolios with four or five positions. And then I started in 2020, 2021, a portfolio with 20 positions where I have small exposures, buy four shares, then if I still like the thesis when it drops, then I would buy more. I didn't buy more. So that's the risk and reward. I bought Facebook to learn more about the risk and reward. And I'm very happy that I have learned more. But a year ago, I would still, or seven months ago, I would still say that it was a positive risk and reward based on the previous information. And therefore, I would still consider it a buy. However, many comments were comparing me to analysts and that hurts. This is analyst from an investment bank covering 10 cent and you can see his price target in blue always 10, 20 percent, 30 percent above the stock price and then as the stock price falls then you have lower price. Then as the stock price goes up, up we push the stock price higher, down stock price, price target down, up, and the price target always follows the stock price. I hope I'm not such an investor. I hope I'm an investor that doesn't just force you to push stocks higher and force you to buy so that you make more commissions. I hope I look at businesses and their earnings power over the long term. And yes, if something with the business changes, I change my valuation. If nothing with the business changes, I don't change my valuation when it comes to stock prices. And things with businesses change all the time. So if something changes with the business, I will change my thesis no matter what you say. If nothing changes with the business, I will not change my thesis. And if the stock goes down, I'll buy more. Russia, January, there were tanks that changed my thesis completely and I sold everything. So imagine if I would never change my thesis. Further, let me give you some more analysts examples. This is PayPal Holdings. Look at the price targets, always following the stock and then down again. So here, here it was the price target higher, higher and then down. Why? What changed in six months? The market's valuation and perception changed and that's what analysts follow. I hope I really showed in the last years and with my comparative table here that you can download for free, how I like businesses and this is the ratio and this ratio, if the business is equal, like the thing with Google is equal, this ratio stays the same and I'll discuss that in a video this weekend. So Google valuation, the growth rates are still there, the business is still strong. So now, oh now, we are looking at intrinsic value higher than the stock price, which actually makes it interesting. Looking forward to the video next weekend. But let's go to Samsung Electronics. Okay, still, you can see how those price targets follow the stock price in black. Carnival Corporation, always stock price target above the stock price, then negative things, and then following down, adjusting, and then up as the price goes up and becomes let's say investable again. So for me, really investing is about following that business and what the business offers. And I really hope it comes across this YouTube channel. I look at business returns, let's do Berkshire, with a fixed expected return on investment. I don't change my valuation depending on what the market says. Actually, my valuation would say, okay, let's say 10 or 15 is an average for the market and then you have your intrinsic value. So when Berkshire falls 50%, like it does or it did in 2020, then you buy these kind of businesses with very, very stable earnings estimates. And yes, the risks I, I mentioned are definitely there, but they have many levers to pull. And Facebook is a great business. Facebook has the top talent. Facebook knows how we work best and they test and they do think Facebook is still a great business. It's just that I sense the risk and reward might be slipping from an investing perspective. Facebook was always risky 
but the risk didn't materialize. Now, with the size, with everything, with competition, the risk might be a little bit higher than it was a year ago, two years ago, and that's what I am pointing out. When Facebook had the Cambridge Analytica issues, I bought more and then sold later. So then I was more certain of the advertising power of the business. Now that changed. And when something with the business changes, you better act. Thanks for watching this digression on investing, but I think it's key to understand investing in businesses and following those businesses and business changes and following the stock price. Actually, I follow the stock price to see when it is below the value of the business. Then I buy and sell if it goes high up. Or in the unlikely situation that the business changes, then you also do those comparisons. That's what we do. That's what I do on my research platform that you can check in the link in the description below if you're interested for more research, more value investing analysis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you this weekend with many, many more good videos.